excellent, excellent. Today, you have seen monsters walk among you, tell you their favorite things, and even danced with you. Yes, this is the time where monsters get to break free from their cages, coffins, sarcophagi, and parents' health insurance. But, oh, I'm getting ahead of myself. I haven't properly introduced myself yet. My name is Bugsy. That's right, Bugsy. It's my family name. Yes, I am a traveling storyteller who loves traveling every year to tell stories about monsters who live among <clears throat> normal people. And I tell stories from this here book. <clears throat> now, this book has the power to bring a brick or treat Lego character to life before your very eyes. All you have to do is say the four magic words, once upon a brick, right on the title. Now, we are going to be telling one of my favorite stories today, the tale of the wolf guy. And here to help me tell that story is my co-host, Chris. Chris. Oh dear, where did he go? Uh, well, I traveled with him all the way over here. If you see Creeps, say, Creeps, it's showtime. Oh dear, he could be anywhere. He could be. Did you hear that? Oh no, I think he's still in the box. Oh, he was supposed to be out a few hours ago. Let's see if he's still in there. Uh, ah, there he is. Ah, uh, Creeps, it's showtime. We have to. Creeps, do you have a show to do? Show. Creeps, you must wake up. It's show. Oh, goodness, this is never going to help. Oh. You know what? I've got an idea. Let's all say, wake up, creeps, together on three. Ready? One, two, three. Wake up, creeps. Five, four minutes long. Dear, dear, dear. This will never do. Oh, you know what? I've got an idea. Creeps is terrified of werewolves. So let's do our best werewolf howl together. All together on three. Ready? One, two, three. Ah! Werewolves? You're just some kids in costume! Whoa! How long have I been asleep? Oh, where am I? <coughs> oh, my old friend Buggy! <coughs> That's uh, Bugsy, with a Z. Are we in Los Angeles already? No, no, not yet. You remember the presentation I was telling you about? Yeah. Oh, the timeshare pitch? No, no, need a vacation? Have I an exciting opportunity? Just no, 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 that one's Los Angeles. This is the Kingdom of the Creatures, remember? The retelling of the classic tales. Oh, it's that time! Yes. Why didn't you wake me up earlier? We were trying to. Well, have you told them what they'll be doing? No, not yet. You were well, to... stop <laughs> slacking. All right, everybody, up on your feet, Z's. Go ahead, stand up. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. All right, for us to tell our story, we will need some help. Would you like to be part of our story? You will all play the angry mob, and the angry mob's got a very important job. Us mob types got to stick together when it comes to werewolves. You know, those gross, hairy, smelly guys. And to warn your fellow mobbies that a werewolf is coming, you must follow these rules. When you see a wolf, you must point and scream like this. Ah! Go ahead, try it. You must howl like this. Ow! Go ahead, try it. Ow! When you smell a wolf, you must go wolf. Okay, try it. Wolf. Excellent. Now, do you think we can all do that together? All right, follow us. Ready? See a wolf. Ah! Hear a wolf. Ow! Smell a wolf. Whoa. Oh yes, you are all perfection. See, ah, hear, oh, smell. Whoa. All right, you can all sit down now. Do you think we're ready to tell the story? What do you think? All right, just remember to tell our story. We have to start off by saying the four words on the cover. Once upon a brick, all together. Can you do that with us? Ready? On three. One, two, three. Once upon a brick. <laughs> Not so long ago, lived a lumberjack, beloved all around. Hello! Everyone loved him for who he was. He built houses for the many, 
made by chopping trees to the ground. He lived his normal wood chopping paper towel sponsoring days. But this girly man had a secret that he had locked away. For one night, his life had changed forever. When attachment to his human form had very quickly severed, he went searching for a potion that would quickly his curly curse. But little did he know that that would only make it worse. As he found the magic potion, the dark began to loom. For this lumberjack decided to drink it under a bright full moon. on the night of a full moon, duh, for the opposite effects will take place. So the lumberjack went searching for a cure for his predicament, and for a late night snack. Oh, I'm so hungry. I need food. What do I do? What do I do? And so, the wolfified lumberjack traveled to his town in hopes for some food. He searched and searched, eventually finding an inn and went inside. However, the innkeeper was not too fond of werewolves. I'm not too fond of werewolves. Stay back. Oh, I'm so hungry. I need to eat. Can you help me? But all the innkeeper heard was... Rawr, rawr. Hungry. Rawr, rawr. I don't know where it's been. The wolf was shooed away, not knowing where to go. He scared every person he came across. He scared the butcher. <laughs> hey, can you help me? I am what you want. <gasps> oh, wait, come back. Oh, man. He scared the baker. You, can you help me? Is in the belly of the he even scared the candlestick maker. Oh, what's that sound out there? Oh, and what is that terrible smell? Oh, now everyone with me. What? Hey, I'm not that smelly. Gordon, you're back from the war. <gasps> Now, remember the rules of a werewolf, everyone. When you hear a wolf, you howl. Ready, go! Okay, okay, now, when the wolf looks at you, I want you to scream, okay? When he looks away, you stop, okay? The wolf guy scared everyone he came across. Let's do this side! All right, now let's do this side. Everyone is terrified of me, and I still haven't had a snack. Whoa, Mr. Mayor! Ah! Wait, don't scream, and then run away. Well, I say, I say, as mayor of this fine town, I have some concerns about this scary, hairy, little house on the prairie monster causing a ruckus in this here town. Am I right, townsfolk? Can I get an amen? Amen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But I'm not a scary monster. I'm the lumberjack you all know and love. I'm a lumberjack. I'm a lumberjack. Everybody point and laugh with me. Now, I find that to be the most outrageous thing I've ever heard. Just because you wear the same clothes as him, smell relatively the same as him, are similarly lumberjacked, say that you are him and have the same big, brown, beautiful eyes that I get lost in the same as he does. It does not mean that you are him. You don't understand. Okay, now shh. Alright, I've had enough. 
We're gonna get to the bottom of this. Little Sheriff, get him! What did you call me? I said get him! <laughs> Whoa! Well, Sheriff, let's see if he's behind the sun. Oh, these hooks are so little. Let's see if he's here. All right. Oh, nothing but clever wordplay. What's it oh, say? I'm going to need your help, everybody. Remember the rules. If you see a wolf, point and scream, okay? Now we got to find out where that is. Oh, Sheriff, there he is. Go get him. Oh, you got it, boss. I won't let you down. All right, son, right behind you. <laughs> Just kidding. I, I, I'm not going to do I, that. I, I'm the mayor. I'm not going to pay for that, brother. Oh, no, he took the elevator. It's going to take twice as long. I'm going to get old walking around this stage. I'll tell you what, these people in the audience are going to have a mouth. Oh, little sheriff, he was right there. Where? Wolf. Ah. All right, go get him. I got you. See, it's a play on words. You see, where and wolf, where wolf. It's like what we're doing in the show, see? It's comedy, it's improv, it's hot, it's the thing right now. You ever seen whose line is it anyway? Oh, there you are, sir. You know, for a big, hairy, smelly fella, he sure is quick. Oh, we had it now, little sheriff. Now we'll never know where he is. Okay, we really gotta talk about this nickname. I didn't write really the script, like okay? It's I not my fault. Like, we really we gotta fix it if we do later. This is the only thing. Well, now, what is everybody yelling about? Sir, sir. Okay, hold on, little sheriff. I'm talking to an angry mom. Oh, he's right behind me, isn't he? <laughs> now, you listen here. I've been trying to tell you that I am not an actual monster. I am just a normal, wood-chopping, paper-towel-endorsing guy. And now everyone's afraid of me because of how I look. And how you smell. But that doesn't matter, right? Because I'm still the same person I was on the inside. And that's what matters, right? What's on the inside? Aww. Mr. Mayor, he's telling everyone the moral of the story. Why, little well, Sheriff, I think he's telling us the moral of the story. Now, uh, I think we were wrong about you, wolf, uh, guy. Maybe, uh, little sheriff here was too quick to misjudge you. And even if I stay like this forever, I can still be the same person I was. Just hairier and smellier. <laughs> I'm, I'm done. Now, on behalf of the whole town, let me be the first and only one to apologize. I've done nothing wrong. Now, let's finish up the story and go get some apple fries. Take it away, little sheriff. You got it, boss. All right, very nice, very nice. And so, they came to find that the new monster of their town was simply the beloved lumberjack of their town. As a wolf, he could bring down trees in record time. He also could scare away anything threatened in the town with a simple howl, along with his new friends who could howl with him. The wolf quickly found that since he drank the potion, he'd stay this way forever. Wait, wait, what? And they all understood it's not what's on the outside that matters it's what's underneath all that fur or the mayor sash or that lovely pirate costume or the ghost sheet the end thank you all for joining us for once upon a break the tale of the wolf guy wait before you all scream and then run away let's do one last howl together on three one Two, three. <laughs> Thank you and have a wonderful rest of your day here at Legoland California Resort. Goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye, everyone.